to me, the most important issue is tracking the success of marketing yeah. campaigns. And if we can't track the email form, the submission, because we're not having a form, then we don't know all of our marketing value. Now, here, here's the most important part of this as it relates to this conversation. If we focus on delivering leads or sales to our clients, number one, we value we show the value we're providing our clients, right? Because they see how much business they're getting and then they're willing to keep working with us. And that's really good. Or in Ellie's case, she shows her boss, look at all the stuff we're getting for our client. And they're like, right. But if we put that much focus on that thing, what happens is the client starts paying attention. And now if their email is full of spam, they're going to start paying attention to their email, right? So just having the focus on the leads makes the client do better because now they're going to focus on this. And so then it is important for them to respond quickly to a lead that they get on the form. Right. So many times people hire us and they're still like, oh, no one's going to contact me from a website. Don't even check that email address. But if yeah. we're putting focus on it and we're saying in our monthly reports, this is how many people tried to contact you for your services over the last month, they go, oh, I guess I should look at that email. Oh my God. Right. And now yeah. the focus is, and yes, first six months of almost all my clients is troubleshooting issues like, Okay, who is getting these sales leads? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and is anybody replying to them? Well, and and, and those questions have... help the client well beyond SEO. Yeah, because oh, yeah. I always I test it. They're done, and I always have the client tested. I'm like, okay, I have to test it and fill the form out, and then I see what comes back, and then and he's okay, I got it, and then I have them tested as well, so they know what it looks like. Right. So, yeah. yeah, I think that's great. And I, I recommend doing that every six months, just testing, yeah. filling out a form, make sure nothing broke. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Make sure it's, sure it's up to date information. It's, you know, someone hasn't left the company and their email address is still getting mm-hmm. the leads. Right. Like, and it's like, it's really, no matter how you get the contact, it's turnaround time because that's right. what it is. Right. Once you pass 48 hours, that's it. I mean, yeah. even just for myself, like I, you know it's basic stuff like I order I was looking to get pickles a new dog collar and uh I messaged someone on Etsy and they didn't respond to me and I messaged someone else and that person responded within an hour and by then oh well the first person finally got back to me but it was two days later and I was like sorry I'm going with someone else now like I found something that worked for me because the person responded to me quickly like and I you know it's that's it's and all if, a game if, about like if we put back. our focus on that yeah then these problems like response time take care of themselves because mm-hmm. the client is already thinking this way but yeah. that's part 